Coming up on 12 News at 6, a Marion County man charged with murder now faces an arson charge. And West Virginia's COVID-19 death toll continues to climb. We'll have the latest totals coming up as 12 News starts now. Working for you. This is WBOY. 12 News at 6 starts now. Good evening and welcome to 12 News at 6. I'm Gina Cadigan and for Don Gray. We'll start with our top story. A Marion County man accused of shooting and killing a Grafton man over the summer now faces additional charges. According to the state's fire marshal's office, 30-year-old Joshua Price of Farmington is now charged with first-degree arson on top of his already existing charge of first-degree murder. Officials say Price caused a fire that damaged 26-year-old Tyler Poston's home in Grafton back on January 12th. Price was arrested in July after allegedly shooting and killing Poston in the Black Mountain area of Route 119 near Grafton on June 26th. The Taylor County Sheriff's Department says that Price was in a relationship with the mother of Poston's child and they, the two men had hostility towards each other. Law enforcement are investigating an alleged incident involving two people at the Bridgeport Home Depot. According to Bridgeport Police Department, officers need your help identifying the two people seen in this video. Officers did not say what the alleged incident involved. Anyone with information is asked to call the Bridgeport Police Department. That number is now on your screen, 304-848-6147. Officers also need your help learning more about two people who are alleged to have broken into Marion, a Marion County school. According to the Monaga Police Department, two people broke into the Monaga Elementary School late Tuesday night. Officers did not say if any items were stolen or if any damage was done to the school. The police department is asking anyone with information into the incident or knowledge of the people to call them at 304-534-3365. Now to the latest on COVID-19, West Virginia's number of active cases is now at more than 8,700. According to the DHHR, there are now 8,746 active COVID cases in West Virginia. That's 112 more than yesterday. 1,004 new cases were included in today's report. Also included in today's report, the deaths of 25 more West Virginians, putting the death toll at 4,263. That includes deaths from Harrison, Tucker, Taylor, Mon, and Ritchie counties. According to the DHHR, a total of 691 West Virginians are currently hospitalized with COVID-19. 205 people are in the ICU and 122 are on ventilators. West Virginia officials are warmly welcoming an offer from three western Maryland counties to join the Mountain State. Maryland delegates and senators who represent Garrett, Allegheny, and Washington counties want to join West Virginia. Those counties border the eastern panhandle. Western Maryland lawmakers believe their interests are not being well represented at the state's capital in Annapolis. Today, Governor Jim Justice said he'd welcome them with open arms. You would absolutely see greatness going on all around you. In other words, what you would see is you would see job opportunity like crazy with the chance to live in paradise. And I mean it. I mean it. The governor says West Virginia's historically low unemployment and continued highway construction are indications in economic comeback, which the western Maryland counties could share. The move could require an action by both state legislators and Congress, in addition to a voters' referendum. Experts say passing all of those steps could be challenging. WVU is reminding all students that there are resources available if they or anyone they know falls victim to sexual assault or similar crimes. 
The Division of Diversity, Equity and Inclusion is home to an office ensuring complaints are investigated. Within that office, the prevention and education team works hard to educate students, faculty and staff about the resources available to them, such as help filing police reports. But a big part of prevention and education is in the name, prevention. WVU says it's not only important to investigate sexual assault, but to stop them from happening. The name of the game is prevention. The name of the game is preventing um, these harms from ever occurring in the first place. And so we're a team of four and we are constantly busy. We work with students, faculty and staff. We do all kinds of trainings and education, but also awareness campaign campaigns. Kittle says WVU cares about all students' safety and is dedicated to offering them support and resources who have been harmed. Friends of the Cheat is holding a State of the Watershed event this evening to let the public know what's going on with the nonprofit and all that their projects undertake. These projects include everything from dealing with acid mine drainage to helping to restore fish populations. The associate director of Friends of the Cheat says there's a lot of the nonprofit can be proud of, especially the project to remove the Albright Dam. The dam is no longer in use, spilling acid mine waste into the water and negatively impacting the ecosystem. We've just hired some new consultants to do a feasibility study on removing the dam in Albright. Um, that would be, that's a multi-year long project and you know we can count this year as kind of the year one. We're, we're starting that process and kind of doing the background to know what it would take to remove that dam. So that's probably the, the biggest project that we'll, FOC will have taken under our wing you know, in, in a long, long time. Friends of the Cheat is always welcoming new members to help with its conservation work. Visit WBOY.com to learn more about how to get involved. We're just a little more than a week away from Halloween, and what better way to get into the spooky spirit than with a look at Philippines' oldest residents? We'll explain after the break. Plus, it's another week of high school football in West Virginia. We'll preview some of tonight's big matchups later in the 12 Sports Zone. But first, here's meteorologist Zach Petty with a look at our forecast. Hey, good evening, Clarksburg. I am meteorologist Zach Petty to walk you through what's expected with your weather. We're off to a pretty cool start all across the region with uh, temperatures fluctuating and ranging in the uh, mid to upper 50s up on the hilltops and the higher elevation. It is a bit cooler, but as you just saw down into Buchanan, Elkins at 51 and 54 respectively uh, up into Davis, up into the upper 40s already. So uh, probably a good idea if you're planning to head out and about for some Friday night football, uh, keep a jacket with you as well as uh, uh, keep an eye on the radar. We could be seeing some uh, pockets of drizzle, if not uh, misty conditions as we head deeper into the overnight hours. We'll put the overnight lows in the upper 40s. Of course, some cooler spots up on the hilltops and the mountaintops. It'll also be a bit misty since we do have uh, a stagnant upper level air pattern with those rather cloudy skies. Here's a peek at your weekend weather words for your Saturday. Expect it to be yet again another misty and drizzly day with great and dreary skies on the way. We'll be right back after this short break. Always updated, always on. WBOY.com and the 12 News app. One of Valley Healthcare System's hallmark services is our crisis unit. Our unit remains open for detox and other related behavioral health, short-term residential services. Need help? Call us today. Oh, yes. Someone has a question back there. Hello? Here. Hello? Hi, uh, Carl from Waukegan. I was just wondering about your Caesars Sportsbook app, and I did some digging, and apparently I can only get my Caesars rewards on the Caesars Sportsbook app? Yes, Carl. Okay. Only Caesars is going to be able to give you Caesars rewards. They're my rewards. Why would someone else give them to you, Carl, if it's called Caesars rewards? It's Caesars rewarding you. Are you looking to sell your home, farm, or estate? We have qualified buyers looking to buy now. Not every property is right for an auction, and not every property is right for a listing. That is why at Kaufman Realty and Auctions, we offer both. No one else offers this in our market. We want to make sure our seller gets the best results possible. Waiting for the right time to sell? Now is the time. 
Call us today for a free evaluation. Kaufman Realty and Auctions is West Virginia's online auction leader. Hi, I'm Keith Powell, and at Yes Chevy and Yes Ford, everyone gets a lifetime warranty. That's right, when you purchase from me, I'm going to cover the engine, transmission, and more for the lifetime of the car. I'm also going to deliver it directly to your door. Plus, right now, down payment started just 99 bucks. So, when you purchase your next car, truck, or SUV, you'll also get peace of mind that comes with a lifetime warranty. Only at Yes Chevy and Hurricane and Yes Ford in Huntington. We know that your pet is a special member of your family. When it's time to say goodbye, call your friends at All Pets Cremation and Funeral Center. We help pet owners cremate, bury, and memorialize their beloved companions. Follow Snowbird through all weather on WBOY. Brought to you by Glenville State College. Welcome back. The next installment of our Paranormal West Virginia series takes a look at a couple oddities in Philippi. Reporter Shayla, Shayla Klein has more. For the low admission price of $1, visitors at the Barber County Historical Museum can take a peek at the mysterious Philippi mummies. The bodies were mummified a little over 130 years ago by a farmer in Philippi named Graham Hamrick. The farmer started experimenting by mummifying small animals and individual body parts. And then finally he moved up to an entire corpse and he went to the asylum and he bought uh, the two uh, female uh, women, their dead bodies, and the uh, body of a, ch a baby that I believe might have been one of the women's child that had also passed away. And he mummified all three of them successfully. Legend has it that the Smithsonian wanted to showcase the mummies in their museum in exchange for Hamrick's embalming formula, but Hamrick took his process to his grave. Despite turning down the Smithsonian, the mummies are known to have toured the world with P.T. Barnum's circus for a few years. My famous statement to the people as I give them the tour and, and talk about it is, they are ugly, but they're ours. <laughs> you know, they, because we've had people go in there and actually turn their nose up and walk out uh, and scream, you know, and I'm thinking, they're dead. They're not going to bother anybody. For WBOY, I'm Shayla Klein in Philippi. Don't go anywhere. We'll have a full check on the forecast and the latest on the Mountaineers right after the break. Now here's what's coming up tonight on News Nation. Tonight on Dan Abrams Live, vaccine mandates remain controversial. We take on an issue very few talking about, religious exemptions. Who exactly qualifies and what makes the exemption legit? That's tonight on Dan Abrams Live. Now here's Ashley with a look at tonight's Banfield. Thanks, Dan. Tonight on Banfield, police cameras have been trained on the laundry home for weeks. So how did Brian slip away and die in the reserve? And so-called crime tourists flock to Northport. Meet the people who travel thousands of miles just to get close to the story. That's tonight on Banfield. Captioning is brought to you by Valley Healthcare System. Did you know that men are more likely to turn to alcohol or drugs when they're depressed? Have concerns for a loved one or a friend? Call us today. If you ride a motorcycle, you know a lot about your bike, but when it comes to your accident case, there's a lot you may not know. I'm Tim Miley, and I wrote the book on West Virginia motorcycle accidents. For your free copy, visit our website. Get the tiger on your side. Think premium can't be capable? Think again. Introducing the first ever AT4 lineup. Premium and capable. That's professional grade from GMC. Current eligible GMC owners get 2500 purchase allowance on 2021 GMC Sierra light duty crew cab models when you finance through GM Financial. We believe home is where the action is. With the FanDuel Casino app, you're only a few taps from your favorite real money casino games, like slots, roulette, and even blackjack. And when you're ready to cash out, you can get to the cage without ever leaving your couch and get your winnings in as little as 24 hours. With FanDuel Casino, you're never far from the action. Play your first 24 hours risk-free and get up to $1,000. 
Traumatic brain injuries caused by car wrecks are much more common than you think. Untreated brain injuries could lead to a dangerous health risk. We provide a checklist that helps you identify the common symptoms. Go to MileyLegal.com and get the tiger on your side. Your eyes, beautiful on the outside, but if you have diabetes, there can be some not so pretty stuff going on inside. It's true, with diabetic retinopathy, excess sugar can damage blood vessels, causing vision loss or even blindness. So remember this, now is the time to get your eyes checked. Eye care is important to your long-term diabetes management. See a path forward with actions and treatments that may help your eyes and protect against vision loss. Visit NowIC.com and take control of your sight. He took down record-breaking champ, Matt Amodio. You are our new Jeopardy champion. Now, he's on a streak of his own. Five-day champ Jonathan Fisher has secured a spot in the Tournament of Champions. Will this week see a continuation of his victorious journey? Jonathan Fisher could be the next super champ. It's one of the highlights of my life. This week on Jeopardy. Jeopardy, weeknights at 7. Follow Snowbird through all weather on WBOY. Brought to you by the Miley Legal Group. Now, the area's most accurate forecast. Storm Tracker 12 weather. Certified storm ready and powered by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration. The official cleaning and restoration company of the West Virginia Mountaineers. Well, aside from the rather gray and kind of feels like more so drizzly conditions all across the region, uh, no real reports or indications on any form of precipitation. We still have a rather stagnant uh, uh, outflow boundary remnant from uh, yesterday's cold front, producing some misty conditions up into Wheeling, uh, even extending onto areas south of Pittsburgh, but not a whole lot uh, looking into the Morgantown, Fairmont, and Clarksburg area. And I do expect that to, well, not so much stick around as we head deeper into the afternoon and through your evening if you're planning to head out and about for some Friday night football. Just keep an eye on the radar since uh, there could be some pockets of drizzle that do pop up that the radar beam out of the National Weather Service up in Pittsburgh is not reporting. But uh, that's the same case as we look all across the region even. Uh, that cold front that uh, provided some rain showers and gusty winds continues to push off the Chesapeake Bay. And it's not really going to influence our weather, but it actually did funnel in that much cooler and drier air, but it also brought in the rather cloudy skies. Unfortunately, we'll likely be sticking around with uh, the pretty cloudy skies even as we head into your weekend, both Saturday and Sunday looking a bit cloudy, probably not the best day to be outside at the pumpkin patch, but we can break down some periods of dry weather uh, looking at our increasing chances for rain. It's only going to be uh, drizzly if uh, we'll call it uh, misty conditions likely uh, tomorrow morning, even into the uh, afternoon. More widespread rain is likely to develop as we head into the back half of your Sunday, so the morning time looks okay uh, if you want to head out to the pumpkin patch and get that uh, fabled pumpkin to do some carving. I, my favorite activity is to dig out the seeds and then you bake them a little bit of salt. Uh, certainly seasonal uh, reminiscent of my childhood. Even as we head into Monday and Tuesday, more so a widespread rain event ahead of a cold front that will uh, bring in some widespread rain showers all across the region. I expect to see dry conditions come Wednesday, but then we'll see increasing chances of rain both Thursday, likely in through Friday. With that cloud coverage around, it has been a much cooler day. Uh, temperatures only maxed out so far in the mid 50s, unseasonably cool for this time of year because normally we should be in the mid 60s. And as you wake up and head out the door tomorrow morning, looks like uh, overnight lows will be in the mid 40s. Another cool and crisp start to your day, but we will warm up all the way back into the 60 degree mark for your afternoon high. Again, mostly cloudy with some pockets of drizzle in the morning, even in through the afternoon. Here's a breakdown of those temperatures across the region so you can get an idea of uh, where those cool spots, of course, will be lying over towards the uh, higher Appalachian area right into your Garrett and Preston County. Maryland as well as even into uh, West Virginia. Pockets of drizzle through the overnight hours likely will stick around into early Saturday mornings to just uh, account for that if you're heading out and about early on. Here's a breakdown of your seven day forecast. Looks like we'll see those increasing chances for rain late Sunday night in through your Monday. Uh, temperatures will be rather warm Sunday, low 70s. Then we'll get back into uh, 60 degrees, upper 60s by Wednesday, and then increasing chances next week. For now, we'll send it back over to fellow Penn State grad, Gina. Thanks, Zach. The WVU football team is looking to pick up its first Big 12 win of the year tomorrow as they face off against the TCU Horned Frogs. Nick Farrell has more in our Mountaineer Minute. 
It's been more than a month since WVU football's last victory, and it's been nearly two years since its last win in a true road game. But that could all change Saturday night when the Mountaineers take on TCU in prime time. West Virginia has won three in a row against the Frogs, including a 2019 clash in Fort Worth on Black Friday. The Mountaineers have dropped seven straight on the road since. Gold and Blue Nation's full slate of pregame programming returns Saturday morning ahead of that 7.30 kick on ESPNU. Our coverage begins with a new edition of the Neil Brown Show and continues with two hours of Mountaineer Game Day, live from Morgantown and Fort Worth. Check your local TV listings for more details and download the free Gold and Blue Nation app for more game day coverage. Tonight, the Mountaineer Volleyball Squad battles Baylor at the Coliseum. We'll bring you a recap of that action at GoldenBlueNation.com. For now, that's the latest on the Mountaineers. In Morgantown, I'm Nick Farrell. Golden Blue Nation Mountaineer Minute is powered by Mountaineer RV and Outdoor Center. Throughout the years, the way we enjoy the outdoors has changed. From this to this and even this thing, with all the new changes to the way we live, this has never changed. A country road, fishing with dad, camping in the mountain state with family. Come join our family today and experience the Mountaineer RV difference. Let us help you create new memories together. If you're thinking about selling your property, finding its value is a place to start. And we will give you a free evaluation plus tips to get you top dollar. With our experience, let, let our teamwork team make your dream work. Visit WBOY.com for this week's Half Off Hump Day deal. Get $50 worth of gift cards for only $25. At Smoke on the Water, our unique cuisine will draw you in, but our riverside dining will bring you back. Amazing barbecue, fresh fish, pasta, and local craft beer. Smoke on the Water. Everyone in your family will love it. Go to WBOY.com every Wednesday at 7 a.m. for your new half-off hump day deal. Our freedoms are worth protecting and defending. That's why I joined the Army. But I didn't serve to see billionaires run our country. And when politicians make it harder to vote, I take it personal. Senator Manchin won't have it either. He won't let the old ways of Washington stop him from doing what's right. He's got a plan to crack down on corruption, end dark money, and secure our elections. Thank you, Senator. That's the kind of leadership we deserve. Change. It's part of our world. Inspired by the love of Christ, 100 years ago, the Palatine Sisters brought quality health care to our community and changed our lives forever. Since then, St. Joseph's Hospital has innovated, progressed, transformed to provide the best medical care now and for future generations. This is St. Joseph's Hospital, embracing change for 100 years and for years to come. If you're thinking about selling your property, finding its value is a place to start. And we will give you a free evaluation plus tips to get you top dollar. And with our experience, let, let our teamwork make your dream work. Buyatoyota.com is designed for speed. From the performance of our cars to the time it takes you to get all the information you want. And get a 360 view of the model you're looking for. Then check out special deals from leases to cash back from Toyota, plus a couple of years of no-cost maintenance is included. And checkout tools to help estimate monthly payments, trade-in values, then connect with a dealer. Now's the time to go Toyota, and let's go places. What drives you? Shop Toyota for legendary safety and reliability. Toyota, let's go places. And now it's time for the 12 Sports Zone, brought to you by Toyota. Welcome inside the 12 Sports Zone, everyone. Week 9 of the high school football season is here. Tons of great games around the region and around the state this evening. Bridgeport on the road against an undefeated Princeton team. Fairmont Senior on the road and a must-win game at Spring Valley. But a big game here tonight. We welcome in head coach Bobby Burnside of the Bulldogs. And coach, we were talking earlier this week, Roan County, a very good rushing team. Defensively for you guys, what's the key to stopping their rushing attack? I mean, there's going to be a big battle to line the scrimmage. So, I mean, they've got a good O-line. we got a good D-line. It's going to be a challenge. 
flip that around for me. What do you guys have to do on offense to make your rushing attack work against what they uh, against what they like to do defensively? I mean, it's similar. I mean, but we got to pick up blitzing backers and we got to we got to get the surge. How big is Dylan Knight going to be in this game? It feels like this is a game where he's going to be all over the field. I know he always is, but it feels like this is a game made for Dylan Knight. And Dylan Knight, he's big in every game for us. Uh, offense, defense, and special teams tonight to be one of those nights. All right. Appreciate it, Coach. Thank right. you as always. Thank you. Yep, thank you. All right, senior night and blackout night tonight here in West Union. Should be a great game between number two, Dodgers County, out of single A, and number seven, Roan County, out of double A. Both of these teams very good defensively and offensively in the ground game, as you just heard me talk with the head coach there. We're going to have these highlights and all the other highlights tonight in the Grog Sports Zone starting at 11.09. Make sure to tune in for that. Abby back. And so coming up on the other side of the break, reporting here live in West Union for 12 Sports, I'm Ryan Dennis. Make sure to stay with us here on 12 News. I bought my first tractor here. They treated me great. When I came in and bought my second one, they didn't forget who I was. People need to shop Mahindra of Clarksburg. Hi, I'm Hans Weichel. I'm an insurance agent that specializes in Medicare. We're still in the middle of Medicare AEP, or annual election period. You still have time to make any changes that you need to make to your current Medicare plan to be effective January 1st, 2022. If you need help, give me a call. I'm happy to help. This virus is testing all of us, and Bridgeport Express Care is proud to offer the 15-minute rapid COVID test by nasal swab seven days a week. No appointments necessary and results in just 15 minutes. Now at Bridgeport Express Care, Johnson Avenue in Bridgeport. Remembering loved ones. information on the celebration of life for localobits.com at mansion injury law we meet with victims of distracted drivers every day we've seen the terrible crashes caused by drivers that were texting putting on makeup eating or just not paying attention distracted drivers are the number one cause of fatalities on the road today even worse than drunk driving if you've been hit by a distracted driver, call us today. Mansion Injury Law, when it's your time for justice. This virus is testing all of us, and Bridgeport Express Care is proud to offer the 15-minute rapid COVID test by nasal swab seven days a week. No appointments necessary and results in just 15 minutes. Now at Bridgeport Express Care, Johnson Avenue in Bridgeport. You guys ready? We have chickens. We live a zero-waste lifestyle. Do you understand what that means? <laughs> Brace yourself, they eat meat. It isn't something we do. This is obviously the way they live. Does it also make them judge? I don't know. Are we judging? On Dateline's Friday premiere, one wrong turn ends in murder. I just wanted the police to figure it out. And tears a family apart. It just makes me feel like, why? An all new Dateline tonight, 9, 8 central. Renegade 4x4 starting at 25-9 during Jeep Adventure Days at Elkins Jeep. Yep. Welcome back, everybody. Football Friday. Here's a look inside a Harrison County matchup tonight. We have number six, Lincoln, hosting Liberty. Big Harrison County battle, as I mentioned. And we have uh, Lincoln Cougars, who are 5-1 and one on the season so far. Looking to take down Liberty, make that 6-1, and one, and we are going to see what Liberty can do here with their run game. Pretty successful against the East Fairmont Bees last week. Uh, Raiden Childers, running back, ran for over 300 yards, so a pretty impressive game for him. I assume the Cougars' defense is going to look to stop him specifically. 
now Cougars definitely looking to get that win, get that 6-1 and one start to the season. So they hopefully can make that playoff uh, appearance here. So we'll have these highlights back here tonight at 11, reporting live in Shinston. Abby back in still 12 Sports. Thanks, Abby. Now here's Zach with our final forecast. Hey, welcome back and taking that final look of your seven day forecast. Looks like uh, cloudy skies will plague the area as we head even into your next work week. Temperatures a bit cooler tomorrow, maxing out right around 60 degrees. We'll see some patchy sprinkles in the morning and the afternoon. Widespread rain late in the evening, Sunday, likely through Monday with highs in the upper 60s. For now, we'll send it back over to Gina at the desk. Thanks, Zach. That's it for 12 News at 6. If you want more news, weather, and sports, you can visit our website, WBOY.com. As always, we'll be back here at 11. See you then. Oh, there's something so